Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So in this video I will be telling you on how to make SSDT for your SM bus. So this is part 6 of the series of videos I'm making on SSDTs and in my part 1 I told you how to extract your DSDT. And as always this is very important in making SSDT. So in this video we'll be also using a hack and tool. And this tool is very specific and it is really important make SMBus SSDT for your Hackintosh. So what you have to do is you have to run this software, double click it, don't check. So once this software is up, you have to go in here PCIe and make it a little wide. And now you have to search SMBus. So this is the SMBus and then you have to search the address of the SMBus. So in IO registry name, you can see this is the address of my SM bus. It says SM bus, it says PCI0. And before at the rate, you have to take this. This is the address PCI0. And this is the name S bus. Okay, so we zoom out or we can zoom in back a little and we can take a clean screenshot. Okay, it's a tiny screenshot, but just for the memory okay zoom out you can close this and then you have to use this ssdt sm bus okay you double click this and now we have to make it clean and we have to make it for our system and if so if you don't know how to get a dsdt or hack and tool the link is in the description below and for dsdt you have to watch the part one of this video the link will come up top right corner of the screen so also remember i will be making videos on how to make all these ssdts using windows machine okay so let's proceed back to our hack and to uh, our dsdt so let's proceed back to our ssdt for sm bus so once we know the path which is this pci0 and s bus we have to open our ssdt sm bus mc hc and so this will be provided in the description below you can download this from there now what you have to do is you have to basically change the name here and here so luckily my name matches with what is provided in the ssdt s bus so look at this pci0 pci0 and pci 0s bus pci 0s bus if we go down here in scope again it is sb dot pci 0 so in my case is pcie 0 you can look at here pci 0 so i don't have to change it here as well if we go down here you will find here again it's pcie it's again PCIe.sbus, which is what our hack and tool uh, showed about the address PCIe 0 at sbus. It's PCIe 0 at bus. We go down and look if there is any other change we need to do. No. So this is the total uh, changes we have to make. Number one here, then here. Remember here, then here, and then we go down here specifically here, and after that that's it so i was lucky again and this ssdt s bus matches with what my s bus was on sm bus was on and all i have to do is now save this file so i will name it ssdt s bus fixed as i always do sm bus fixed and change the file to acpi and save after saving this we just have to close Mount our EFI partition, go to EFI, OC, ACPI, and then we just replace this. So I've already made this here. So just the name difference. And remember, you have to open your config.plst and don't forget to add this. So you have to add this. Okay, so I, I moved the wrong file. I have to move the dot AML file, not the dsl file so move this this is the file and that are open this and it has to be clicked so remember you have to use this one because i already have one i don't need this so i can just skip this and save the config.plst close this close this okay so once you are 
done with this you have to restart your system and your system will boot if you have not make any mistakes remember do make a backup so once you are done with everything all you gotta do is you have to check so luckily there is a way to check if you have made a correct SM bus for your system so open the terminal you can search the terminal with spotlight terminal and enter this code this code will also be available in the description below you have to search this this is a text start and SM bus controller so if you press enter it will tell you exact the ID and if the driver is loaded if you come back with this it means your Hackintosh has a working SM bus so if you come up with this that means your Hackintosh has a working SM bus so that's a success close this so that's all for this video guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family so they can make a stable Hackintosh as well if you have any question query let me know in the comment section below and if you want me to make videos on other topics do uh, comment that as well in the description below I'm also available on patreon your support will be very great for my channel to make so I can keep making these videos I'm available on patreon you can support me there also you can talk with me there and discuss your problems as well I also do online support and for a variety of different systems including Hackintosh Windows servers and gaming machines thanks again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and until the very next video please take care Allah Hafiz